Thank you so much for holding. My name is Simone. I be helping you to find my reward. Can I get your name? Yeah, my name is Joanna. Hello? Yes, hello. What? Yes, what's your first name? Uh, Joanna. How do you spell that? Uh, J O A N N A. Last name? Uh, Hump, H U M P. Okay. Now you have the ability today to select between receiving a monthly reward of $100 shopping reward today or $100 dining certificate. Which one do you prefer today, shopping or dining? Uh, the dining, please. What's the address to mail it? Say again. Go ahead with the address that I should mail it to. Yeah, it's 16922 Nicole Lane. Mm hmm. Houston, Texas. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. 77084. Says 16922 Nicole Lane, Houston, Texas, 77084. Yeah. Okay. Now your phone number is seven six zero seven six four zero seven forty three. Yeah. Now the one hundred dollar reward that you get in from us will be sent out to you in the mail, where you could get it tomorrow, the following day, the latest. No, it doesn't expire. You could use some today, some tomorrow, some the other day. You could also use some online to shop or take it in the physical store. You also get great discount at car wash your salon, etc. as well, okay? okay? Now, your phone number you said is 760-764-0743? Yeah. Okay. Now, in order to get you set up here, you simply need to handle your own small processing fee today after four ninety five to get it out to you in the mail. Now, will it be using a Visa or MasterCard to claim your reward? Do you have an initial or middle name? Uh, no, I don't have an initial name. Oh, okay. No problem. Then when the card expire? Um, it's 0422. 0422? Yeah. Okay, and what is the number on the front? Uh, 5117 Zero six six one four six three two. Did you say five one one seven eight five five three zero eight six one forty six thirty two? The expiration. Five one one seven eight six five three zero six six one four six three two. Okay. Okay. What's the three number in the back? Uh, four eight one. 481 and 422 is the exploration. What year did you born? Sorry? What year were you born? Uh, 1981. 91? Yeah, 81. 81! Oh, okay. <laughs> Your billing and mailing address are the same as well, correct? Yeah. The card is in process for the 495 once the card goes through. I'll provide you with the confirmation code for your reward, okay? Okay. Now, you're all clear with the reward today. What I'm doing is very simple. Now, instead of spending our marketing dollars on TV or online advertising, we use our marketing dollars effectively, and we pass it to you through the monthly $100 reward just for taking a look at our program. Now, we will be sending you the information in the next 24 to 48 hours with the ability of you redeeming the option you like the most. Even better, if you like to access to our monthly reward, do nothing will extend the benefit for you, but it's four ninety five monthly. So if you want the reward every month, you could also get it, John, but it's totally up to you. I am only giving you that $100 reward once today, okay? Okay.
Now, you also get a try as well, ID Guard 24-7, and MD Help 24-7. With these programs, you have peace of mind, knowing that your ID protected as well as access an array of comprehensive resources designed to prevent illness and reduce health risks as well. Now, best of all, you can try the programs for nine days. Even if you discount another service, you still got to keep the reward. So remember, the $100 reward is yours. You use it whenever you wish, however you want, because it does not expire, okay? Okay. So if you enjoy the service and decide that you want to keep her benefits here, ID Guard 24-7 extend for 24.92, MD Hub 24-7 for 34.97 monthly. And that's if you want to be interested in what we advertise in, because that's totally up to you, okay? But if you read all the information and decide that you do not want to continue, all you have to do is give us a call at the numbers I'll provide to you together with your unique confirmation number. So these numbers will be included in the instruction in your welcome letter. So if you have any questions, remember that you could call us if you have any question or anything to ask, okay? Okay. Because these numbers will be included in the instruction in your welcome letter. You have a pen with you? Could take the confirmation code? Uh, yes, I have a pen, yes. Okay. And you said the billing and mailing address the same one minute, okay? Yeah. Okay, so now in order, so now in order, so now in order to confirm your authorization and provide your electronic signature for ID Guard 24/7 and MD Hub 24/7 to charge the first and future payments to your card if needed. Unless you call back and cancel, please state your first and last name. So you said that your first and last name is uh, Joanna Hum. And that's H U M P, correct? That's correct. Yeah. Okay, so Joanna, we have a service called Rush My Reward that allows you to get all the details much quicker as well. A UTL has a call, so however, I do have the ability to waive it and upgrade you if you have an email address. What is your email? Uh, Joanna Hump 6969 at Outlook.com. So it's Joanna Hump 6969 at Outlook.com. That's correct, yes. Yeah. Let me verify it, okay? Okay. So it's Joanna, it's J Jacket, O Oscar, A Apple, and Nancy, and Nancy, A Apple, Hump is A Harry, U1 Brother, M Mike, um, P Paul, 6969 at com. And is that in lowercase or there's a caps in that email? Uh, all lowercase. Okay, wonderful. Now your confirmation is labeled, the numbers to call are. Now, John, the card that you gave me just now, I'm having a bit of issue here with the numbers. Did you say that the card numbers that you gave me, I'm going to repeat it back to you. You said it was 511-786-530-661-14632? Yeah, yeah, that's correct, yeah. And did you say that the expiration is 422 and 481 on the back, all right? Yeah, when right. was the last time that you when last you used the card? I've used it in Walmart today. You use it today? Yeah. Hold up because the machine we're trying invalid card. You said that you use it today. Yeah, I've been to Walmart, yeah. Okay, one minute, okay, I'm checking on that, okay? Okay. And he said all the information on the card is correct that, that I verify, along with the expiration, everything is correct? Yeah. Okay, well, the card that you gave me is not going through. He said the expiration is 422 and 481 on the back, right? Uh, yeah, strange. This, this card is not going through. You don't have a card that has 495 on it? Uh, yeah, I do. Um, do you want to try my visa? No problem, I could try it. Okay. It's, What's the visa card number? Hold on. Okay. Go ahead. It's four seven four six zero five three zero zero two two six three eight one two. They said four seven four six zero five three zero zero two two six three eight one two. Yeah. The expiration. Uh, zero four two two. Zero four. It's the same expiration. Yeah. And the three number in the back. Nine two five. Nine two five. Now your first name is J O A N N A. There is no initial. No. 
the bill and then me and then address the same? Yeah. Okay, one minute, okay? Okay. So I'm going to read you about the disclaimer because it's to confirm that I've explained all the benefits in term. It's basically to ensure my job is done correctly here, okay? Okay. So now in order to confirm you, so now in order to confirm your authorization and provide your electronic signature for ID Guard 24-7 and MD Hub 24-7, the child of first and future payments to your card if needed, unless you call, we can cancel. Please state your first and last name. So you said that your first and last name is? Joanna Hump. Okay, and do you got a message on your phone just now? Uh, no. Okay, well, it'll be taking a while for you to get it. Now, your confirmation is labeled the numbers to call. You could write these numbers now. They're A44. Uh, A? Did you say A? 8, 8, the number 8. 809 509 yeah. 31 31 65 69 no 65 625 yes that is for ID protection I'm going to give you another one as well 800 800 mm -hmm. 464 464 4111 4111 three ones yes yes three ones, okay. so we almost done here so remember that if you have any question you could call us okay the first one as i was saying is a four four five oh nine thirty one sixty five the other one is a zero zero four six four forty one eleven so for telemedicine the first one is for ID protection. So they are going to send to you in the mail along in the email as well. If you have a question, remember that you could reach us, okay? Okay. Now, as a way to tell you, so I'm waiting on the confirmation, but as a way to say thank you for your time and your patience on the phone, I'm going to give you also a free $50 dining reward as a gift. You could use it to have a lovely meal at one of your favorite restaurants, okay? Now, as a part of the benefits, you got a free $50 dining to eat out, okay? And it's free to use as a gift that we're given, okay? Are you walking around? Pardon me? Are you walking around? No, no, no. Why who do you say that? What happened? Uh, I don't know. You just... It, it just I don't know. It sounded like you were moving. Oh, uh, no. I wasn't moving, okay? Okay. Now, as a way to say thank you for your time and your patience, I'm going to give you a free $50 dining reward as a gift, and you're not paying for it, okay? Okay, so, get, part of so, the I, so, I, so, so we get 150 dining altogether? No, no. Remember, you said you want 100 to shop. No, Isn't that I, the one that you... No, I wanted the 100 You want the 100 dining. to dine? Yeah. Okay, yeah. So you get, you get a total of 150 dining. Okay. That's yeah, so that's as that's a part of... So as a part of the benefits, you also get to enjoy as well a one-year subscription of up to five of your favorite magazine title, along with the $50 dining reward, and it's made available to you thanks to Pitman Max. You also get to enjoy as well 30 days of free service of one of American leader in magazine subscription service. But if after you enjoy your $50 dining reward as well, and your 30 days free service, and if you decide that you want to stay, then and only then you will be billed 14, 50, 14, 59 monthly. But if you feel that our service, it is not 100% for you, that's totally fine by us. The simple call, you could write this number as well, is 844. Um, 844, yeah. 497. 497. 5384. 5384. Yes, so let's continue. But either way, the $50 dining is yours to keep. Remember, the $50 dining is an additional gift and it's free to you, okay? Okay. So let me go ahead and get you set up here and three to out to dinner, okay? Okay. Would you like and to, you would you like to come yes, out for dinner? Correct? Pardon me? Would you like to come out for dinner? No, I cannot go out to dinner with you. No, why not? No, you don't have anyone to go out with? Um, no, I'm single. You're single? Yeah. Maybe you could take a friend then. 
Can you be my friend? No. Okay. You sure? So let me go ahead and get you set up for in three, two hours to dinner, okay? okay. And you said that was a yes, correct? Yes, yeah, sure. I didn't hear. Is that a yes? Yes, yeah, sure. Hello. Yes. Hello. Okay. So your phone number. Your phone number is seven six zero seven six four zero seven forty three. That's the one, yeah. Now remember, you're getting hundred and fifty dollars worth of dining reward from us at American Savings as well. Now the card that you gave me, I'm going to give it a confirmation. But when was the last time that you used that card? Uh, today in Walmart. You used all of your cards in Walmart today? Uh, oh no, this card I used yesterday um, in Target. Okay, I'm waiting on the confirmation. Just give me a second, okay? Okay. And you said, have you, yes, have you checked again to see if the message was sent to your phone? Um, yeah, there's been no message. There is no message? No. Okay, no problem. Just wait on for a minute. It's load, your confirmation is loading. However, my system running a bit slow, okay? Okay. So, how, long, how long have you been working there? Pardon me? How long have you been working there? Oh, quite well. Why do you ask? No, just conversation while we're waiting for the confirmation. Oh, okay, no problem. I'm quite well. Uh, do you have any pets? If I have any pets? Yeah. Yes, I do have a friend. Oh, I had the dog. Um, he got run you over. You have a dog? What? He got run over? Yeah. When? Um, two days ago. Two days ago? Yeah. Do you know who did it? Uh, do you know who did it? It was a school bus driver. So, oh, have you told him? Yeah, he knows. He was there. He ran the dog over. Oh. oh okay. Yeah. And what did he say to you? Um, he he was just sorry. It was it wasn't his fault. Um, Rover ran out after my son because he was getting on the school bus. Um, and we have a mm -hmm. little a little Chihuahua, um, named Rover Dover. Um, and Whoa, that's a nice theme. Yeah, Rover. Um, and the bus driver didn't see him and started driving and squashed him. Um, and he was flat as a pancake. Uh, there was blood and guts and shit everywhere. Oh, that's sad. Yeah. But have you take have you taken him? Have you taken him out? Yeah, he's dead. Yeah. What do you mean? Have oh, you, you taken buried him, him or? No, I mean if you buried him or you threw him away. Oh no, we cremated him. You cremated him? Yeah. Oh. We've got him okay. in. We've got him in a, a little shoebox. Um, his ashes in a shoebox. Oh, you put him in a sh Oh, he was small. Yeah. It's only a chihuahua. Do oh. you know how big a chihuahua is? Yes, I know how big. But if it, that means if he's big enough, can hold in his shoe bag. That means he's not that real a bit. We cremated him, so it's ashes. Oh, so you, oh, it's after you cremated him, that's when you put it in the shoe box. Yeah. Okay, I thought you put him in the shoe box and then you take him to cremate. My apologies. No, no, we put him in uh, like a metal bin um, and cremated him and then put his ashes in the shoe box. Oh, you could put it, you know, you could also put it in a jar. Um, yeah, could do. Um, that was the only pet that you have? Uh, no, we've got a fish. His name's Rex. We've got a fish? Yeah. Okay, are you planning on getting another another dog? Um, no, I don't like dogs. You don't like dogs? But why no. do you get the first one? Uh, my um, friend um, passed away um, and he asked, he, in his will, um, he wanted the dog to come to me. In his will, he wanted the dog to come to you? Yeah, because he knew I didn't like dogs, so it was his way of saying, um, <laughs> fuck you, basically. Pardon me? It was basically his way of saying to me, uh, fuck you, because he knows I don't like dogs. Really? 
why would he say that? Um, just, just because he knows I don't like dogs, so... It's just the way they lick the but... balls and I don't like it. Oh, that's sad. Which? Them licking the balls? Well, the car that you gave me is not going through, okay? Really? Yes, it's not going through. I used it in Target yesterday. They use it in Target? Yeah. I bought some dog biscuits. But you just told me, sir, that you used the car the day before yesterday. Oh, yeah, that car they used the day before yesterday in Target. The other car they used in Walmart today. Okay. So maybe well, the card is not going through. I'm not sure why. Well, not you check the balance. Oh, okay. Um, maybe. Well, not you check the balance. Um, the balance. Let me just check the balance. Okay. Um, it says I have um just over four thousand in that account. You have over 4,000 in the account? Yeah. That's my savings account. That's your savings? Mm-hmm. And how is your name written in your savings account? How am I? What? Your name. Uh, do you want a home? Hello? Yes, I'm here. Oh, the line went dead. Oh, my apology. So you said your name is Rona Hump and you have over 4,000 in the account? Yeah. However, the card is not going through. You don't have a friend or anyone? Uh, Could no. Could I assist you with 495? No. Uh, I live on my own. You live on your own? Yeah. I did have Rover, but he's dead now. I've only got Rex. Okay. Uh, and I don't think Rex has got 495 with him being a fish. You have... But I thought, so what's the name of the dog that died? Uh, Rover. Okay. Rover Dover. Well, Rover Dover. Well, the card you gave me is not going through, sir. Oh, shit. Um, can't you lend me? No, if I could, I would, really. If I could, I would. If you lend me it, um, then mean you can go out for a meal. Um, I can wine and dine you. What's your favourite wine? Or do you prefer champagne? Well, uh, well I won't have um, the four ninety five on my account till next week. Four dollars ninety five? You haven't got four dollars ninety five. Not until next week, because I'll lend a lot of persons already from morning. Uh, how do you get paid? Do you get paid like rupees or is it dollars or rupees or? I don't understand what you said. Uh, you don't get paid until next week? I'm not getting paid until next week. Well, it's it's Friday tomorrow. Do you not get paid on a Friday? Yes, but not this Friday. Next Friday. Oh. Um, is, isn't there anyone in the office that could lend you it? Pardon me? Isn't there anyone in the office that can lend you it? No, there is no one in the office who will lend me four ninety five to loan you. There's no one in your whole office that can lend you four ninety five. I said I have funds on my account, however I used it this morning, so I cannot loan you four ninety five. If I could I will. So can't anyone else lend you it? Pardon me? Isn't there anyone else that can lend you it, like a family member or a relative, uh, a a neighbour? A co-worker? Uh, sir, I am at work. I'm at work. Yeah, isn't there a co-worker that can lend you? Hello? Yes, I'm here, sir. Oh, was, was you asking a co-worker? Pardon me? Was you asking a co-worker? The line went dead. I thought you might have been asking a co-worker to lend you the 495. I'm not going to ask my co-worker to loan me 495, sir. Why? You don't have four ninety five? Um I have over four thousand. You have over four thousand? Yeah. Well the car 
so you have over 4,000, so why are your card ain't going through if it is above 4,000? Maybe there's a problem with your system? Sorry, there is no issue with our system here. Uh, what kind of card was it? It was a Visa credit card. What kind of credit card? A Visa. What's the name? Uh, a TD. TD? Yeah. The one that starts with four, four seven. that's the TD credit card? Yeah. Okay, well, just to let you know, we're on direct line with Visa and MasterCard, okay? Okay. For all protection here. Uh, okay. The card you gave is not going through, sir. So are you going to provide me with a card that I could take the 495? Uh, they're the only two cards I've got. Can't you lend me? They're the only... No, sir, I don't have it. If I have it, I hood. You hood? Um, okay, I don't I don't know what to do then. So what about your friend or neighbor? Um, my neighbor died two weeks ago. Of syphilis. Your neighbor died? Okay. What happened with your neighbor? Uh, he died of syphilis. What about your friend? Uh, I don't have many friends. The, the, the friend that I had, so what he, the friend that I had, he died. He was the one that gave me Rover Dover. He, in his will. He didn't say send me any money in his will, he just sent me the dog in his will. And now he's dead. What um, about your relatives? Um, I thought all my relatives live in the UK. Uh, so is there any way you could ask one of your relatives to assist? Um, not from the UK, no. Why? Why is it that you cannot ask the friends to assist? No one could send you four ninety five. No, they don't like me. And you, they don't like you. No. Why? They think I killed Robert Dover because they don't like. They dogs. think you killed Robert Dover. Yeah. Well, I've told okay. them. All, I've told them on um, about the bus driver killing them. Well, they think I killed him. They said I reversed over him um, on my bicycle. Okay, sir. Well, you need a car to claim the reward. Okay. Okay, can't you just send me the card? Can't you just do it out of the goodness of your heart? Oh, she's gone. I like that call. I like that call. Did it, did it, did it, did it.